Hi, um, my name is Anishka Warden and I'm the Collections Manager at the Society of Antiquaries. And what I would like for Christmas from the collection would be these drawings of the Portland Vase. Um, the Portland Vase is probably one of the most iconic objects in the ancient world. Um, and it's so good in terms of the quality of the objects and the detail that um, some people refuse to believe it was Roman. So um, I have a particular soft spot for this object um, in terms of its history beyond the Roman period. So in 1875 it was smashed by a drunken student um, who, thanks to a loophole in the law, could only actually be prosecuted for damage to the case it was in and not actually the vase. And um, it took from 1875 to 1988 to actually properly piece the vessel back together again. So there were 37 pieces that couldn't be put back together in the vessel. So it took until 1988. Um, it's thought to date from the Julio-Claudian period. And um, the images on the vase have been subject to a lot of debate. So it's not entirely clear um, what this mythological scene represents. But it's quite similar to... Um, uh, cameos that were produced um, during the Julio-Claudian period, like the Gemma Augustea, which um, shows sort of semi-mythological scenes um, fused with dynastic scenes of the Julio-Claudian dynasty. Um, it's likely that more than one specialist was involved in producing this as well. So if you imagine um, an expert glass blower working with um, a gem cutter, perhaps, using a technique that involved double dipping glass, it's actually amazing um, the, the, the work that went into creating this, let alone actually the fact a fragile piece of glass has survived from the ancient world. And the other amazing fact about it is that it was discovered in the 16th century and it was said to have been found in the tomb of a Roman emperor known as Alexander Severus. So there's another magic link there.